Janet on the right is the child with autism and their assistance dog. So Janet's got the harness, so she's walking her best friend. Mum or dad is saying left or right. So when it comes to going down the road and they want to go left, it's not the mum or dad saying, come on, we're going this way. And then having some conflict, the child not knowing what's happening. It's, oh, my best friend's going this way, so I'm going to follow them. If the child was to bolt, very strong behaviour within children with autism, the dog would just stand still. The dog would stand still, and then the child would come to the end of the harness and stop, mark, and then bring them back and carry on. So using the dog, it can really break down some of the communication issues, some of the barriers that our families have had without their children, without the dogs. Some task work going into a public place, an extremely stressful situation, Children with autism like pressure. So if a, if a child was in a place and it wasn't coping, sit them down and we just get the dog to rest their heads on their laps and that pressure will just start to calm them down. So you can see Winnie there is just resting her, lap on, her head on the lap and that would start to calm the child down. The child could then start to interact with the dog and that would break away any focus from the environment. Having feet measured, going to shop with your child to have their foot measured is a complete no-no. No, no. But if your assistant's dog goes into the food shop, the, the food shop, and has its foot measured by, the, by the, the people in the shop, the child starts to realise, okay, actually it's not that bad. If my best friend was having their paws measured, I could have my feet measured. And this happens at home. Brushing teeth. Grooming, brushing, putting the jacket on, getting them dressed. We can do this through the dog. If the child sees that and learns and starts to break down some of the social skills that they have in public places and in the home again. So, since 2007, we've been training dogs to work with children with autism.